We are moving on to an uh, activity called Let's Get Messy. So you're going to work with a group um, to answer these questions and then graph it, write the function rule and the recursive rule. So look at the table and complete the rest of the parts of it for both of them. So this one is you put a, put a hot 100 degrees Celsius cup of water in the freezer. The water cools. Model, model the scenario, minutes, temperature, and Celsius. Next one is bamboo, a plant grows quickly. Model the scenario, days in height. Okay, so go ahead and work on this with your group, and I'm going to be walking around um, and asking you a question as you go through it. Okay, so let's look at the let's get messy. Some questions that you need to think about as you're going through this is, what is the change? So if you look at it and think about it as linear, you would do 95 minus 100, which is 5. It's subtracting by 5. Then if you do 90.25 minus 95, subtracting by 4.75. That tells me right away that it's not linear because it's not adding or subtracting by the same number. So if it's not linear, then we need to look and see what else could it be. So the other... Um, function that we've learned learned about is exponential. So exponential means I'm going to multiply times to get the next number. So 100 times something gets 95. So just like we subtracted, remember how we subtracted right here? 95 minus 100. So instead of subtracting to find out what's being multiplied, we're going to divide. So 95 divided by 100. Oh, I need to get down here. 95 divided by 100, which gives us 0.95 times 0.95. So let's see if that is the same rate for the next one. So let's do 95 times 0.95, 92.5. Multiply that times 0.95, and it's rounding to the 74, which is great. And I'm going to multiply that times 0.95. Okay, so this tells me it's exponential. Okay, so you are going to go ahead and fill out the rest of this. Whenever you do your sequence, it should be written with these numbers. So 95, 90.25, and so on. Then write your recursive rule. And your f of x, if you look back at the tweaking parameters, the parameters page. So remember how we had our original? So like start at 3 and then do now times 5. And the function rule was 3 times 5 to the x. Then the next one, start at 5, now times 5. And it's 5 times 5 to the x. So in exponential functions, the x is the exponent. The first number is what you start with. And then the next number is your rate raised to some power x. So that's what you'll do on this one. Make sure you write your reason as to why it is exponential. Why is this exponential? So one way to know is it's being multiplied. Now the next one, you look and see what the rate is. Okay. So go through this and you decide what kind of function it is and why it's that kind of function. Hey, you have two assignments today, so finish this, turn it in, and then you have two assignments. Let me find the other one. Okay, so you have this one, and then you have this one. So solve the equation, so these are pretty straightforward. Um, the only thing that is messed up on this one, this bottom one here, is how it is written. We should not have the three as part of the sequence, but it is our first term. Whenever we write our sequence, we write the one 
and so on. Zero term is not in the sequence. Okay, so finish these, turn them in. And that is all for today.